So today I'm thinking about what's better. Is it beehives on a rail or is it beehives on a beehive stand? I have given it a lot of thought, probably too much thought, and here's what I think. It's the stands. For me, the stands are definitely the way to go. They're not without downside, but here's why I like them. I can move around so much easier, and I feel like this is the bottom line, really. If you want to just move in and out, do a little zigzag pattern around the hive, stands are the way to go. I can look in the front, I can run around look in the back, I don't have to jump over the rails, I don't have to walk to the end of the rails, and most importantly, I can stand on the side of the beehive to do my beehive inspection. This way I can really get deep in the hive and have a good look around without having to straddle this whole rail situation, which I've been doing for a while. Without the beehive stand, you know, back in the old days, when this one here was on a rail, the options were stand over the rail, kind of straddle it, which wasn't awful, but I just had to be really careful every time I was moving over the rail, over the rail, over the rail, over the rail. And every time I needed to move, even just a couple of steps away, just to set something down, I really had to watch my feet. And I'm a new beekeeper. I don't need to spend time watching my stuff. I need to spend time watching these bees. There is, though, actually one other option with these rails other than hopping over them all day, which is stand behind the beehive and twist around for your inspection. So in that case, there's no jumping over the rail, so you're not going to trip over the rail, but I think that is actually worse because all of the twisting. And I really don't have any like bad back or any mobility type of issues, but it is super uncomfortable to twist around. Actually, it was making my back ache just a little bit, and that was kind of a red flag to like, uh, this is not my best case scenario. So if you're a garden beehive beekeeper with any sort of back issue, twisting around these rails is not what you're gonna wanna do. Which is to say the rail has tons of downside, but it's convenient, it's quick, it's easy to set up and tear down, and overall is pretty cheap. Well, cheaper than a beehive stand. So I can really see how these rails do make a lot of sense if you have a lot of beehives and you're not going through them a lot. But for me, a garden beehive beekeeper, and you only have one hive, and you like to get in that hive and see what's going on, a beehive stand is what you need. It's so worth it. I can move around so freely. It's great. I can focus on my bees instead of focusing on my feet. Except for the situation where the rail was covering up a hole, I removed the rails, put up the beehive stand, and then fell in the hole. I probably should have checked for that. You know, actually what I really want now is some pavers. Okay, great. Now there's yet another thing to do on the to-do list. A few downsides I can think of though for this type of stand. For one, at first, it takes a lot more time to set up each individual stand than it does to put up the rails. And then when you put the beehives on it, they have to be very exact on the beehives or else they'll start to lean over. So I can see really where this would be not super efficient if you have a lot of hives, but for me, it's totally worth it. And the setup is just one time. Another downside is that it takes up a lot more space. But if you're like me and you just have one beehive with hopes of two or three or four beehives, then taking up space is not that big of an issue. And it looks so nice. But the main drawback I think is that it is a lot more expensive. You know, overall the rails and cinder block option is pretty cheap. Purchasing a hive stand, that is not pretty cheap, at least not what I've seen. The cheapest ones I see online are $60 each, and I don't even think they really look that great. And like I said, I would like to have three or four or five or six hives someday, so that, that would add up a little bit, a lot. Now there is one other option I've been thinking about trying, though it seems like way too much effort right at the moment and that's making your own beehive stand. I know it's doable, my husband's done it a lot of times, and he even has this video on how to do it, a how-to video. It's one of his first videos though, and it has been so fun to look back on that one. I think I can safely conclude that that is the best way 
to get a beehive stand without spending a ton of money. But I will not be tackling that project just yet. To do that, you'd have to have the right knowledge and the right tools, which would not be cheap. At least not the first time. Really, really, am I gonna buy myself a table saw just to make a beehive stand? Am I gonna take some woodworking classes just to make a beehive stand? Okay, actually, all of a sudden, now I do want to take a woodworking class. Do I have time for another hobby? You could do it with hand tools, though, in which case it wouldn't be a, so much a money situation, but it would be a very time-intense situation. And now I'm kind of thinking I want to try that someday, but not today. Today, I'm going to value my time more than my money and conclude that I will buy what I want to buy so that I can have a nice beehive stand for my garden hives. If you have any opinion or suggestion, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.